Good evening and welcome. My name is Sussex Sandra and welcome to my channel. This evening I am doing an unboxing and it's the last unboxing for the month, obviously, because today is the 31st of January. Now, you're probably wondering why am I doing this so late? There is a reason for that. With Latest in Beauty, which is this box by the way, with Latest in Beauty, the payment date for me is on the 16th of the month. Everybody has a different time for payment and I think it depends on when they joined up. So if you do decide to sign up for Latest in Beauty, think about the day you sign up so you don't end up in the same situation I do. So once you've signed up, once they've taken the payment, they send you an email to say, OK, it's time for you to pick your products. Now, Latest and Beauty, how they work, you it's a box where you actually choose the products you want. So it's not a mystery each month. You actually pick out the products you want. You can pick three products. And if you do three products, it costs, I think it costs nine pounds. If you do six products, it costs £15. And if you do nine products, it costs £18. So I do the middle. I do the six products and that costs me £15 each month. Now, the struggle I always have each month is finding products to, to put in my box. So there's always a bit of a delay. So say, for example, my payment date was on the 16th, which is what, a week and a half ago. And I have, I have to wait to find the products to put in. So what Latest and Beauty do is each day after, after midnight, they release a new product that's that's the product of the day so if you want to you can choose that product so what i end up always having to do is to sort of wait until sort of like first thing in the morning when i wake up or if i'm still awake after midnight i look and see what product it, it's there and some of the products i'm not i'm not interested in and i don't want them so i sometimes have a lot of problems in finding the six products that i want i used to get nine products each month but i just found it too difficult three products isn't enough so for me three products isn't enough and it's not worth me sort of signing up for the box so i settled for six products and the other thing that is also something to bear in mind as well with latest in beauty is that when you pick your product so you say you've decided oh i want that product the picture they show you is always the full size of the product don't go by that what you need to do is click into the product so click onto the, the actual item and that will go onto the product page and then that will show you what the size of the product is because sometimes you get a full size product sometimes you might get a deluxe size product quite a few times you might get a little itty bitty sample so recently what they started to do is not give you one little three milliliter sample they might give you two <laughs> three milliliter samples so they realized people are a little bit um, dissatisfied with that so they're sort of giving two now two small samples rather than one but do click into the product page. Don't just say, I want that product. Do click and see what size you are getting. So what I do try to do, I do try to pick out full size products as well. Because I want to get the value for money. Because one of the things I have, I have a basic, is that whatever I pay for my beauty box, I want the products, the value of the box to be at least double what I've paid for the box. So if I pay £10 for the box, I want the box to be at least £20 in value, if not more. Right, I think I've waffled enough. Let's see what I picked out this month. Um, I've seen quite a few of the other people's unboxings and it's the one time I do actually watch other people's unboxings because everybody picks different products so, so I'm not going to have any surprises or have any spoiler alerts if I if I watch anybody else's video so I like to see what people have picked out and I noticed a lot of people did pick out the product of the month which was the Dermalogica and it was like an exfoliant um, product it was like a little powder add water to it, it becomes a paste and then you can use that to scrub your face if you're wondering why I'm holding my hand like that, um, usually when it's evenings, I, my, I, my body starts to swell in various places, usually my hands, my wrists and so forth, and it started. So this hand is actually hurting me quite a bit. So I will be using my left hand quite a lot because this hand is hurting like hell. And I've taken all my painkillers for the day now, so I've just got to suffer it out until I go to bed. So this is what the box looks like. This is not the standard looking box. They were doing for January a special, it was like a special thing they were doing for January. I think everybody got a makeup bag. I'm probably wrong, but I think everyone got a makeup bag and I think everybody got their products inside this. And I think there's one extra product everybody got inside their January boxes as well. Cause that's something as well that Latest in Beauty do. They might sort of do little promotions as well from time to time. So, so the box doesn't normally look like that. So this is what it looks like this month for January. And obviously tomorrow is February. The card we normally get is pink. So we've got a turquoise card here. And what does that say? It says, 
big hair big dreams well i'm certainly going with the big hair at the moment so yes yeah, so last weekend i put in these crochet braids so this is what it's looking like after a week so if you want to see that's the video link up above where i installed these crochet braids in let's have a look at this because we're not here to talk about that hair oh see this is this always makes me happy when i see big full-size tubes like that that always makes me happy right what did i pick out i know i picked out moisturizers so i always do right so first thing we've got here okay oh i do remember this now so this was a brand i've never seen before and it was a hair conditioner and we are kind of natured the brand with the big heart and it has jojoba and avocado um i'm trying very much to try and use natural products or products with as much natural ingredients in the first few ingredients in the list as possible so looking at this um it described it as a nourishing conditioner um, here at Kind Nature, we believe in keeping it natural. We go the extra mile to ensure all our products are. So there's no sulfates. Um, what does that say? Oh, I, can't, I can't read it, I'm sorry. It says it's packed to the brim with the best ingredients we could source. Our nourishing conditioner will help maintain strong, healthy hair. Even unhappiest hair will be left feeling sumptuously soft. I'm just having a look to see what the ingredients were. So here we go, the ingredients. So first ingredient is aqua, water. Then we've got citaril alcohol, um, glycerol stearate. Then we've got cocos nucifera, which is coconut oil. We have glycerin, we have cocoa, oh god, here we go. There's quite a few things in there. We've got sodium benzoate, parfum fragrance, citric acid. And then right down towards the end is where all the interesting ingredients are. So towards the end, um, after all the chemically stuff, we have um, jojoba, we have jojoba seed oil, we have avocado oil, we have mango, mango we have uh, mango seed butter, and that's it. But those ingredients are literally right at the bottom. So the list starts there. I don't know if you can see it. The ingredient starts there. And all the interesting, nice ingredients are at the bottom. So I hate it when they do that. They sort of mislead you and say, oh, we've got all lovely ingredients in it. But the majority of the ingredients are all the crappy things that we don't want in our products. So here we go. So there's that. Let me see if I can find it and tell you how much the product costs. OK, so this product um, is £4.99 from let's have a look what shops you can get it from you can buy it from boots yeah you can buy it from boots and it's four pound 99 in boots okay so that's that one then i also got the same brand again and it's the body wash so this is we are kind natured coconut and passion flower comforting body wash let's smell this oh, it smells nice okay so there's that i'll have a look and see how much this costs Okay, so the body wash is also £4.99, so we're on £9.98 so far, and this box is £15 for me. Um, then I got, I was obviously on a brand thing here, wasn't I? also bought the Nourishing Body Lotion, and this one was in Sheer and Macadamia. So I'm assuming it's the same price, I'll have a quick look. Okay, this is slightly more expensive. So the body lotion, again from Boots, and it's £5.99. And they say it's for dry skin, which is perfect for me at this time of year. So there we go. And it's, these are all big tubes. So they're vegan friendly, 97% natural. Um, and this one's for very dry skin, and it's 250 millilitres. So they're all 250 millilitres. So what did I say? £9.98 plus, what, £6? So what are we on so far? I can't add £15, so I've covered the price of my box so far. And there's one more thing I've got from this range, I think that's right. Yeah. And then I got the nourishing shampoo, obviously, to go with the conditioner. So there we go. And I think this is, I'm just, let's just assume this is £4.99. So we are on just under £20 for that. So that's my first four items, all from the one brand. So I like doing that. If I see like a brand of things or a range of products from a brand, I like to buy the whole lot. There was two lots of things I was interested in. There was another brand I was interested in that was skincare, but I've got quite a lot of skincare products to go through. So I decided not to do that this time. Let me go for these products first. So hair and skin, that's, that's all good as far as I'm concerned. So we've got shampoo here. We've got a conditioner there. 
we've got a body lotion there and we've got the shower gel body wash there so that's good so that's my first four items and then the next two items are from uh, the another brand so there was four items from this brand as well and I decided to go for these two things but mainly for my daughter I think so my daughter's got lovely curly curly gorgeous curly hair so I've got these for her and again because I think what attracted me to this was the quite simple packaging so I don't know if it's because it's cheap and nasty but I'm hoping it's because they spent most of the money on the ingredients this is what I always hope so what we have here is two products from a range called Buclem and this is a Curls Redefined Curl Cream and they say it's 0% sulfate silicones and parabens so that's all good what we got here is 100 mils so I'm assuming this is a um, like a travel size which is a good amount so you can get to try the product out and it says there's no silicones no sulfates mineral oils petroleum parabens propylene glycol pgs i don't know what pgs are um flates, artificial colors or fragrances um the nourishing and moisture replenishing leave-in curl cream creates soft shiny and well-defined curls for medium and tight curl types so that's great and we've got here how much we've got 100 mil so let me see how much this is if i can find it they look fantastic are selling these and they're selling the full size of this which is 300 mils for 19 pounds so divide that by three so this is about six pounds 20 roughly so yep yeah, so that's good so my box is already about 26 pounds roughly i'm kind of losing count here and the other thing i got was the curl defining gel again same thing for my daughter so they say this is this smooth medium hold gel gives all day frizz control and incredible curl definition so yeah my daughter will like that okay so because my daughter's not um she's kind of learning from me so she's not using heat on her hair anymore so she's not blow drying her hair out straight anymore so she's learning to love her curls and natural curls so anything that can help to look after her curls make them defined keep them moisturized looking shiny and plump and juicy that's it so these two things i actually got for her and i'm assuming that's the same sort of price let's have a quick look right so the full size of this is 300 milliliters also and it is 15 pounds so divided by three this is worth five pounds so where am i so we're roughly on about 31 pounds for this box and yes this is the thing everybody got inside their box this month we got makeup bags which i think is great I've got one of these already from when I joined the um, joined Latest in Beauty, and I must say these are really good quality makeup bags. They're large, capacious is the word I'm looking for. It's a good size, a decent quality, quality makeup bag. So, you know, I wasn't happy to have that because I have a lot of stash. <laughs> so that's great. So it's Latest in Beauty. On the back it says, "I came." I saw and I contoured so yeah so yeah I'm quite pleased with my little stash this month so I put everything inside there so we've got curl defining uh, cream we've got a curl defining gel mainly hair products isn't it curl defining gel we've got a body lotion full size we've got a hair conditioner we've got a shampoo ouch can't use this hand and we've got a body wash and my makeup bag and it all fits in there so i'm actually very pleased with my little haul this month um i did watch the latest in beauty um live feed last night to see what products were coming in coming in in february and it looks like there are some interesting products that are coming through one thing i'm looking to get and um it was niman Iman Cosmetics and that was David Bowie's wife and it's a nice red matte lipstick I've seen that lipstick before and I thought it was a really attractive red so I'm definitely going to get that the day that comes out I hope it's in time for Valentine's they better release it in time for Valentine's I did notice that there was quite a few red lipsticks that they're obviously thinking Valentine so I'm assuming it should all be out before Valentine's I think what I might have to do is do an additional bag so I can bag all that stuff because as I said my my payment date is not until the 16th so I might just do an additional bag just in case right that's my latest in beauty um before I go I just wanted to just give you uh, um, um just give you an idea of what's going on with me at the moment 
Right, so at this time of year, usually sort of um, mid-January to the end of March, into the financial year, it is crazy busy for me at work. So what you will notice is that I am not doing so many videos at the moment. My videos will be more sporadic. So what will probably tend to happen is that I'll do most of my filming, I would say probably at this time of the night, so it will be in the evenings, hence I'm trying to sort out my lighting, and probably at weekends. So... So you might only see maybe one or two videos um, a week from me, depending on how things are going and, and what I'm doing that day. Um, what's the other thing I want to tell you? Um, the other thing that um, so some of you may have noticed is that I have literally just got onto Facebook. I know, I... <laughs> I must be the only person on the planet who's not on Facebook. I'm, I'm really, really slow. So I have got a Facebook channel now and it's Sussex Sandra. So you should be able to find me. And what I'm trying to do is trying to, because I get, look, you know, I get a lot of beauty products and because I, I do these beauty boxes. And what I tend to find in my beauty boxes, there are quite a few things that I, I get that I can't use, usually because it's not something that suits me or it's something that I just don't like. But I know other people will like it. So what I'm going to start doing from now, I'm probably just doing it once a month. I'm going to sort of collect a various array of different things and I'm going to put them in a box and then I'm going to sell them on eBay. I think I'm going to sort of stick to the same sort of price. So probably like £8 for the box plus postage and packaging, which I think they said works out to £3.95. So the whole thing is going to cost about £11 unless people bid up or whatever. Um, so I'm trying to sort that out because I'm not very good at all of this technology stuff, as you probably may have noticed by now. So I've got one box on my eBay account at the moment. If I have, if I have got something which I am selling, try and get this right. If I have got something that I'm selling, I will put the link to that in my description box down below. I will also put any details of any giveaways that I am doing in the description box down below. And the other thing that I'm doing, because what I, this is this is going to sound horrible, so please forgive me if this upsets people. What I noticed um, last year is that I, I did quite a few giveaways. I thought I did quite a few giveaways, and I thought, well, and I thought that's good because I like to share and give out. I get a lot of stuff, so let me give some stuff out. It's no, no big deal to me. But what I noticed that some people just joined my channel literally just for the giveaways, and if they didn't win, they disappeared again. So sometimes I see the same person just resubscribing every time I'm doing a giveaway, and it's like, how many times are you're going to just subscribe and unsubscribe and I see that quite a few times so I'm going to start being a little bit sneaky now so I've seen some other people do this in, in America on their channels so I'm just going to put little comments and things in the video and then that will be your entry so for I'm going to be doing because I said I was going to do a new year giveaway and I'm going to do that new year giveaway I'm going to do a, a new year giveaway of like a random array of products that I've received in beauty boxes things that are unused obviously things that I can't use don't be surprised if there's a dry shampoo in that box because you know I don't get along with dry shampoos so I am going to do a box and I'll be giving that away at the end of February and all you need to do if you want to enter that giveaway is in this video just mention the color of my jumper what i'm wearing and the color of the jumper i'm wearing today is mustard so all you've got to do is leave a comment down below and just mention mustard if you do that and you're subscribed to my channel you're entered that's it all you've got to do be subscribed to my channel say mustard and that's it and then you're entered but just this video only all right and at the end of the month i'll just I'll get in touch with the person and get them to contact me and I'll send the box out to them. Simple as that. Is that fair enough? I hope so. Right, I think that's it. So really, next week, it will start with all the, the February boxes. So let's see what comes first next month. I am looking for another box to subscribe to. So I have subscribed to one other box, um, which was... What was it? It was the curly box. So it's another hair box. I'm going to be trying to do a few more hair videos. So when I do hair videos, obviously it's not going to be for a, quite a lot of you who watch my channel. So I will make sure what I put in the title clearly what it is my video is about. So you don't have to watch it if you're not interested in it. Because obviously when I do hair videos, it's mainly for sort of black people, really. So if it's not your thing and you're not interested, unless you're just fascinated with what we do with our hair, then you know, go ahead and watch. But it's going to be aimed at that part of my audience because it's something I like doing. I love playing around with hair. I love playing around with crochet braids, wigs, extensions. It's fun. I love mixing things up with my hair. So that's the kind of things I'll be doing. 
I'm also going to try and do more um, get ready with me so trying out makeup as much as possible I've got two videos um, coming up hopefully in the next week of two foundations that I have purchased recently um, one is not a new product but it's new to me and that's a Revlon match it's new to me because I've just seen the shades like oh they've got a shade that can do me and the other one is a new one which is a new product that we, sh we probably have all seen advertise on the YouTube channels if we watch other people's YouTubes so I have got that one and I'll be doing that probably this weekend all right that's it enough talk thank you very much for Thank well, I'm so tired I can't talk. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the products I got in my latest in beauty this month. And don't forget mustard. <laughs> Take care. Bye.